we are off to a good start. A sweet initial atmosphere that's enhanced with a very nice music score. A mystery man in a police station gave me fond memories of the original Assault on Precinct 13 and the film Legion. Let Us Pray had my attention. As the main story unfolds, it's nothing fresh, but I can see during pre-production, on paper, Let Us Pray seemed like a good idea. And there's nothing wrong to witness a different take on a simple story that you've come across before when it's done well. Now, before I continue with this review, to everyone involved in making this film, if this is the first production you've worked on, well done for a bloody good effort. However, I'm not going to patronise you. I have to continue this review to be honest and talk about the end result on screen. I like the fact I didn't recognise most of the cast, but on the flip side, 70% of the cast just didn't cut it. I'll give you an example. Look, some actors need direction and others don't, no big deal. The young, cheeky, confident driver we're introduced to at the start needed direction. He needed to take it down a few notches. Too much big personality acting going on and not enough listening and reacting. He played it on the same level. Listen to what I'm saying here. When you create a serious, dark and foreboding film, if you don't get the casting right, or if the director is focused on getting the shot looking good and they're not aware when an actor needs direction... It dilutes the impact of the violence and horror when it kicks in. During the first quarter of this production, the dialogue should have been edited right down. Less would have been slightly more effective. Unfortunately, the film's main plot gets a little overcrowded with extreme side scenarios that come and go too quickly. They're not emotionally involving and they haven't been given the right creative writing and direction to thread them carefully or cleverly into the story. As this film rolled, I became disappointed, then really pissed off. I'm pissed off because behind the scenes, I'm sure people work bloody hard in getting the monies together, then such a creative opportunity is not to the standard it could have been because of an unedited, weak script unimaginative casting and a director that's not very good with actors. I genuinely wanted Let Us Pray to be something special. Even the experienced actor Liam Cunningham couldn't save this film. All pieces of the creative jigsaw has to gel and I know it's not easy to do. Look, I don't just critique films giving my opinion. I actually create my own horror content I've produced, directed, edited and acted. This gives me a bleeding edge over all other film critics. And when it comes to horror, I know what works. And when you get it right, I'll be the first to shout out about it and make sure the world knows. So to the two writers and all the producers and the director of Let Us Pray, take what I've said on the chin, don't get defensive. Let what I've said settle inside your skull then just move on and don't mess it up next time.